what I see as far as sex in what's going on now in society and it seems to be that most people fall under two extremes. One is grew up very religious and had a lot of guilt around sex and having sex even after a lot of these people that I know that I've talked to were Christians and even after getting married still experienced guilt for years for having sex. So that's like that one extreme of don't do it, it's not allowed until you're married and there's guilt around it and it blocks your sexual energy. On the other side you have uh, Tinder and um, just hooking up to I think the idea is like it's a need, it's a fun activity, you should have sex with whoever, whenever, and it tends to be more meaningless or at least there's less emotions and meaning given to it and what that does is it depletes your sexual energy. So on one side you've got it blocked from guilt and stuff, on the other side the, the power that's in creative sexual, sexual energy is creative energy, when you have that, it, we all have it, it's very powerful energy for a lot of things, but it's spiritual, it can be very spiritual and help with manifestation. So on this other side you're just depleting it, you're, it gets stuck, right? Everybody, men and women, have the ability to have multiple orgasms for men without ejaculating, multiple orgasms, exchanging energy back and forth. This is our human right, we have this ability, and when, and full body, full body sensations and tingles, and when you, <laughs> tingles, that's funny, and when you're on this side of meaningless sex and the energy is just getting kind of wasted, no offense to anybody, but it's just depleting. I know, I've actually been on both sides of the extreme, so my personal story is both sides, I've experienced both sides. You you have to rebuild and reharness the energy if you're on this side. If you're on this side, you have to deal with your guilt. It doesn't matter, either side. <laughs> it's probably why I've been on both extremes, to help people on both extremes. Because either way, you have, there's a healing. There's healing that has to be done in order for you to have this really awesome exchange back and forth that's full of unconditional love, bliss, and for me, I feel like I experience the divine or source light or God or whatever word you want to use, the universe, the infinite unknown energy just infusing the room. You know, you can drop out of time and space. And this is what I teach. This is what I'm passionate about. I have my love alchemy course that I run. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch base on that to me, and I'd love it if you have another category, these are the two I see, I see, and that I've experienced is this, on this side, this uh, guilt and shame around their s people's sexuality, my sexuality, and on this other side, um, it's just getting depleted. You might be having sex, but it's kind of meaningless, and you don't have the connection and the intimacy that you desire, and your sexual energy is just like everywhere. So. I just wanted to state that to you all. I felt called to, so I try to listen when I feel called to do things. And uh, comment on this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. If there's another category I'm leaving out, I, I would love to know. But in my experience, that's been the main two things. And what I'm all about teaching is this middle path where you're whole, where you love yourself and you can really show up with the other person and exchange beautiful energy back and forth and when you know that you've done this correctly, when <laughs> your love for everyone and everything is like overflowing, when the cup overflows, when you wake up the next morning or maybe it was in the morning and you are finished being intimate with someone and it's like your, your vision changes and all you feel love, you feel like we're all love, that we're all one and they were all love and it just overflows like you want to hug and kiss everybody which people aren't cool with yet but we'll get there <laughs>